Let's talk about federal student loan forgiveness for a few minutes because it looks like President Biden's new program is coming this fall. So this video is going to tell you who qualifies and what you need to do. And yes, there is an August 30th deadline that you need to know about. And before you ask, yes, President Biden can do this, even though the Supreme Court struck down his last student loan forgiveness program. The justices said that program was not legal, but they never said Biden can't try again with a different program and different qualifications. And that's exactly what's happening. This new proposed program has actually been moving through the rulemaking process for at least a year, and I've been documenting it here on this page. And according to the Department of Education, if it's finalized, it would bring debt relief to tens of millions of borrowers this fall. Obviously, once that happens, it will be challenged in the courts, and we'll have to see if it can survive. But if it does, who qualifies? There are four categories of borrowers who will get this relief. Category one includes an estimated 23 million borrowers who owe more now on their federal student loan than they did when they started repaying it. These borrowers would be eligible if they have a current balance on an unconsolidated federal direct loan, a Department of Education held FFEL loan, or a Perkins loan that has grown out of control because of runaway interest. This also includes consolidated loans that have a larger balance now than when the original loan entered repayment. If you qualify, all borrowers may receive up to, at minimum, $20,000 in forgiveness. But for the borrowers enrolled in an income-driven repayment program who earn less than $120,000 a year individually or less than $180,000 a year as head of household or less than $240,000 a year as a married couple, your entire principal and interest above the original principal and interest balance at the beginning of your repayment will be forgiven. Category two, federal loan borrowers who have been in repayment for decades. Some or all of your debt may be fully forgiven if a borrower with only undergraduate loans has been in repayment for more than 20 years. So you entered repayment on or before July 1st, 2005 you would qualify. And if you have at least one federal graduate loan and have been in repayment for more than 25 years, so you entered repayment on or before July 1st of the year 2000, you would also qualify. So what makes this different than the existing law is this new program would also include those consolidated loans. Category three includes federal loan borrowers who are otherwise eligible for forgiveness from some other existing program and they just have not applied. And category four includes federal loan borrowers who enrolled in low financial value programs that failed to achieve just one of the Department of Education's accountability standards. That includes non-degree programs that have closed. So if you think you qualify in any of these four categories and you want to receive this forgiveness, you do not have to do anything. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is a deadline. So if you believe you qualify for this forgiveness and for some reason you do not want forgiveness, you have until August 30th to contact your loan servicer and opt out. Once you opt out, the Department of Education says you cannot opt back in. So make your decision wisely. Last week, the Department of Education sent potential eligible borrowers an email about all of this. Now, if you did not get an email and you think you qualify, do not panic. The email does not guarantee forgiveness eligibility and more information will be coming as soon as this program is finalized. So if you want to read all of these documents from the Department of Education about this program, I'm going to email them out to you tonight in my News Girl News Roundup email. So it is important that you sign yourself up.